Oh, welcome to Christmas with Anna Nerf. What's going on YouTube? So today's video is about me having a very unique opportunity to do something very interesting in my college experience. And that is building a 3D printer in my first freshman semester of college. So I think this is pretty interesting because I don't know of a lot of colleges that are having their freshman engineering students build 3D printers their first semester whenever they arrive at college. And I think it's a really great project for freshmen to kind of get into engineering. For those of you who didn't know, I'm actually an engineering student, so that's what I'm, my major is in college. So this video basically is going to be a compilation of me building the printer throughout the weeks that have preceded this video. I'm also going to be showing off some of the printing stuff I've actually done with the printer and some of the processes that you do with it, stuff like that. So check it out, guys. Hey guys, Anna Nerf here, and I just wanted to say that I got all the rest of the parts for my 3D printer that the school is requiring me to build. Requiring, I say that very lightly. But before I had all this stuff, I had to deal with all this little itty bitty nitty gritty wiry stuff. Um, basically just a bunch of wiring components, nothing really special. Here's a circuit board with a potentiometer on it, another circuit board. And then the hardest thing I believe was probably this fan. And what it's basically for is cooling down the bed. But hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to paint the wood casing that all the components actually go in and makes the structure of the 3D printer. I was thinking of about painting it this, uh, black cherry stain that I bought because I think I really like that color and I think that would look good on this printer. I'm just super excited that I finally got all the components to this printer and I'm really ready to start getting to serious work on it. So um, I got all the pieces of the printer laid out here, all of it laid out, all the faces exposed and then I got my stain here and a two inch brush so um, I'm gonna do this side and let it dry and do the other so we'll see Don't how that goes. Up. Boy if you don't get Thank you. So this guy, you see him right here. I'm trying to hold it still. You see him back there. He's got he's got a bubble blower in his hand and a gallon of bubbles. And we we asked him, "Are you about to go have some fun?" He's like, "Yeah, it's just one of those bubble blowing kind of days." What a legend! Just just look all the bubbles. He's just sitting in that Eno. That makes me so happy. All right, guys. So I got all the other sides painted. Now I'm gonna let it dry, and we'll be done. Alright guys, so I put it all together and got basically all the electronics there that you see in the bottom right installed. So now it's got the LCD screen, and these switches I believe control the LEDs, the LED strip, and then the fan. And this is the, potenti the potentiometer adjusts the speed of the fan with this little dial. And then here, this is for the menu select over here. So now the next step is just to start adding the motors in there and keep working. All right guys, so there's a lot that's happened since you last saw this printer. If you uh, see these white patches right here, these are composite epoxy patches where, uh, uh, so I kind of dropped the thing and the wood kind of cracked, so I got it repaired and now it's actually really stronger than ever at those points now. Um, I'm gonna redo the paint job here really quick. Um, I've since installed the bed and the axes here. This, uh, uh, this is the Y axis, this is the X axis. None of the stuff is hooked up, obviously all the wires are still loose and that will eventually hook up to the motherboard hopefully this thing's really coming together and in the next few weeks it'll hopefully be printing stuff so uh, i'll let you see it when it's got the new paint job all right guys so i got the paint job done um as you can see uh it's themed after a certain uh figure that i have standing here this is ryoko from kill a kill for those of you who did not know i kind of themed this to look like sunkets which is this outfit she's wearing um i gave 
put the eye on this first patch and then on the second I did the one that is uh, blindfolded shut. So I think it looks pretty good. I also did the life fiber kind of design here with all these lines. Um, they're actually straight with each other so that even when there's gaps they're straight with each other. I did that on all the sides including the back. I also painted the edges here with some of that blue color like this blue color painted all the edges with that and it's actually looking a lot better than it was before and I'm actually really really pleased with it. I finished the paint job and all that I have to do left is add some more hardware and then this thing will be printing. So guys here it is in all its glory. Um, I got it printing yesterday. Um, currently it's printing a mold uh, uh, print that I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I got my filament running up here so basically it just pulls it off and into the extruder. This is the extruder right here. Then here we are printing a clone trooper and this is not supposed to be like this. You see this white part? This white part is supposed to look like this red part. It's supposed to be a wall. However, at the very beginning it snapped and I it was up to like here and up to here took an hour to print and so I did not want to waste that and I, I've babied it along all the way. I put this under it and it's actually kind of working and it's not going to make my print not work. And I'm like actually super, super happy with this print because it's actually really large and it's printing really well. I've been printing a lot and experimenting around. I will be printing a lot more in the future. I don't know what I'll be printing, but I imagine a lot. I really want to print some of the like full-size ruby weapons and that may be coming eventually. I'll do that in sections. We'll just have to see where it goes. So also I forgot to mention that I printed this off. This is the Crescent Rose from Ruby, obviously. Um, it's freaking awesome. Um, it's very thin, very fragile. All this white stuff is that dissolvable stuff I was telling you all about. Uh, I also printed the scissor blade from Kill Our Kill. It's just a little thing I printed and thought it was fun. So yeah, this thing's working like a charm. Just yeah, cool stuff, man. I got my own 3D printer. I'm a freshman in college and it's great. So guys, after all of that, he's survive me it looks awesome because I did not think my printer was going to be able to handle this but it's really really good even though we had some complication with the support material I peeled back a little bit there I mean look at that leg it's such high quality stuff details lots of details didn't do an awesome job on the hat the head you can't really tell but his face is the correct shape um I just gotta peel all this stuff back whenever I get my chemical so that I can do that All right guys, so I got it all out of its support material. I'm kind of learning to try and spin this, but it's difficult um, because all three you have to spin at the same time. But uh, yeah, this is an awesome, awesome print. Um, can't wait to show everybody on my floor about this. Print. Super cool, super cool, really enjoying this print. So yeah, that's what this printer is capable of, is things like this and just lots of great stuff. So there you go. So that has been my experience with building and printing with the 3D printer, my own personal 3D printer, which is really, really awesome. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this thing in the future, just printing for my own personal use, but also I had a few ideas about the YouTube videos and how I could evolve the 3D printing with my YouTube. Maybe y'all could suggest me some things to print the comments or something like that, and then the print would be featured in the video. Maybe I could do giveaways for some cool 3D prints or some 3D filament. Who knows if you guys are 3D printers, <laughs> let me know. Just let me know what you want to see me do with this 3D printer down in the comments. If you have any suggestions at all, just leave them down below. I'll be sure to read them. I'm sure I'll read them and probably even reply to you. I'm very open to suggestions, so just leave them down and I'll get back to you. So I hope this video was a nerf for you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys.